Have you ever been involved with Neighbourhood Watch Bill? Can't say I have, but you need to keep an eye on them for sure. <laughs> so, you were up to a bit of this and a bit of that, were you, Bill? Uh, as it happens, or oh, so people told me, I was usually too drunk. <laughs> yes, well, uh, we won't go into all that, will we? I quite like talking about it, as it happens. We're all adults in here, aren't we? Except for figuring in for that. <laughs> But well, as your second in command, Bill, I don't think you should be up to any of the other. Just in case you've done anything wrong, we don't want you slipping an open-toed sandal across the line of acceptability. I don't wear open-toed sandals. But you can guarantee I've crossed that line loads of times. Put a lid on it, will you, Bill? What I'm trying to tell you is that the UK Space Force are saying that the USA is stationing a neighbourhood watch satellite in orbit to keep an eye on things in space. All I'm going to say is that it's a good job there's no young ladies up here, isn't it? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Will you shut up, Bill, or I'll report you? What? To neighbourhood watch? No, the bloody Scotland Yard down on Earth. Anyway, as we're going to be watched under no circumstances, should you do anything wrong at all? Ugh, give me a for instance. I don't know, like flushing the toilet when you're at the station or dropping fag in. Brexit one doesn't stop at stations. We're not a train. You know what I mean. Flush Brexit one where you can't be seen. There aren't any bushes up here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Bill. If you want to use the flush, make sure the Atlas V rocket is on the other side, not the side you're flushing from. You'll just have to time your visits to the loo in sequence with our orbit and the Atlas rocket's orbit. What about washing your hands? And what happens if you can't hold on? I don't know. Stick a flag out and wave to the Yanks. Make a brave face of it. <laughs> What do you know about neighbourhood watching? Yes, that's me, Commander. What can I do you for? <laughs> what do you mean, that's me? I would have thought it was obvious. I am the local neighbourhood watch police liaison officer. Oh, but we're not on Earth, we're in space. Oh, Brexit one. No time flaming will know it, no, it's just that I asked the police in UKSF if I could be the neighbourhood watch up here. It's natural, it's rather the obvious choice. And they said yes. <laughs> Why? We don't need watching up here. Who are the villains in Brexit one then, Inch? Come on, Inch. You don't know, do you? No? Well, yeah, no, it's more like it isn't. I'm afraid I'm not permitted to say, Commanders. It's not in my briefs, is it? <laughs> I can guarantee it's nobody's got a criminal record up here. They will all have been checked, won't they, before they put a foot up or Brexit one. Oh, really? Are we? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Pray tell Francis, who is it then? Well, a little birdie has told me someone might have been at a party when they shouldn't have been. <laughs> is that all, for God's sake? We're all allowed to go to parties, aren't we? Are you sure? What about lockdown on Earth? It was a criminal offence. Well, I suppose that was a different matter. What about you, Sid? Ah, uh, I don't go to parties because everyone wants to know what you do for a living. Boring, isn't it? Surely, you're a spaceship pilot, aren't you? You could pull any lady once they know about that. All the ladies love an astronaut, don't they? Yeah, a bit of the other. That's what I was telling you earlier. But everyone thinks I'm making it up. They don't believe I'm an astronaut and they laugh. So I tell them I'm a comedian. <laughs> comedian? I bet nobody laughs at you when you tell them that, Bill. <laughs>
You're right. They yawn and fall asleep. As for myself, I don't go to many parties. I just end up in the kitchen. But that's being crafty. That's where all the beer is and the snacks. So it must be Fig. Is it Fig, space flight engineer in... My lips are sealeth. I am not allowed to reveal names under my purview as chief of neighbourhood one. However, if it wasn't Fig, God knows who it is. Suspicious looking spaceship in orbital section 23, Commander. What the hell is it, Bill? Suspicious looking spaceship in orbital section 23, Commander. <laughs> Oh, it's an Atlas V rocket, so it must be the USA's neighbourhood one. <laughs> Thank God for that. A little normality. I thought it might be the Chinese again, trying to nick our rubbish. <laughs> oh, do you like the Chinese, Max? Some of my best friends are Chinese. No, of course not. That would be racist. It's just that I'm glad the USA are the police round here, and it's good to know they are carrying out the same role on Terraformer that of watching over us, like shepherds watching over their flocks at night. So, what about what happened in Afghanistan, Commander? Commander, Commander, I'm all in a tiz. I met someone outside. I thought he was a ghost. There's no ghost in space fig, are there? It wasn't one of those wretched Russians and Chinese trying to nick one of our bin bags. I hope you planted one on them. Planted one on them? A bug? So we can trace the bag? No, fisticuffs. Like a left hook on them. No, he's about half a mile away. My arms aren't that long, are they? I'm not Plastic Man, you know. Oh, you're not Plastic Man. King of the recycling lorry. <laughs> so who was it? This person you met? He said his name was a Lieutenant Assel from the USA's neighbourhood watch. He wanted him to know who I was. So, what did you tell him? Remember, name, rank and number. I told the truth. I like telling the truth. I said I was space technician Nigel Fig from Whittingham on the moor in Devon, UK. And I'm a Virgo. <laughs> and my UKSF number is 24. It came up in the lottery last week. <laughs> you told us last week you had a house in Wuhan, China. It's usually best to tell the truth, Fig. That lot have got the Pentagon to check up on you. <laughs> You've got small houses all over the place, haven't you, Nigel? Yes, I suppose I have. Property is a fully safe investment, you know. I'm like a working class oligarch. <laughs> Pentagon? Are they in the witchcraft? Well, they are on Dark Mall, I can tell you. I wasn't going to tell him that I was. He might have arrested me. Anyway, I've got a small place in Whittacombe on the Moor as well. <laughs> So did this neighbourhood watch lieutenant ask you what you were doing? He turned on his American charm. He said, partner, what are you doing around these parts? <laughs> and of course you told him you were in the space junkies collecting junk. Oh, of course I did. And David Jimbo Assel, that was his name, put some handcuffs on me and said he was in the USF neighbourhood watch, whatever that is. <laughs> of course you explained yourself clearly, didn't you, Fogg? That in England, junk means rubbish and not drugs. I couldn't have done. Assel thinks I'm a drug dealer. So you've come back and now you're on the run. Oh, I've just spotted it on the internet. There's a wanted poster circulating the broadband corridors of Space Force. <laughs> With Fig's name plastered all over it, I'll be bound. That's another fine mess you've got us into. Not exactly, Commander. There's a big picture of you. And a tiny one of him. Yes, well, what did I say there? What did I tell you, Commander? Oh, what did you tell me? Mud sticks? Well, you know who's got a criminal record now, don't we? <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm a criminal hinch? Exact a bolt? Yes, neighbourhood watch in the UK has just sent me a message. It says Commander Max Skip of UKSF has a criminal conviction for harbouring a wanted felon. The tawdriness of it all. What? Harbouring Nigel Fig. It's only just happened. How fast do these people work? Well, you know, listen, it was an harbouring years ago. I know nothing about any felon. Who or what was it? <laughs> Is it right, Bill, that I give the command to your name? Never heard of him. I don't know a Bill Balls. <laughs> it's too late to deny it now, Max. Well, I don't legally know you, do I? I didn't know I'd have white Earp chasing me around the cosmos, did I? 
Good job I never put it in writing in a marriage, isn't it? Marriage? Are you saying that at some time I was a wanted felon? I've never done anything wrong, have I? Perhaps I can give you a little memory jogger, sir. Double white lines outside the co-op on Camberwick Road in 1997. <laughs> so, you're trying to give me a criminal record because Wild Bill Hickok here parked on some yellow lines in the 1990s. Calling you, calling you, Brexit one. This is David Jimbo Hassel from USSF Neighbourhood Watch. I believe Commander Skip, you told the police that Bill Balls wasn't in your house. That's why, Max Skip, you've got a criminal record. But he wasn't in my house. He was running down the garden and vaulting over a garden fence, I'll have you know. <laughs> Real nice to talk to you, Brexit World. We'll be keeping our eyes on you from now on. <laughs>